everything that we do and everything we say, and especially videos like this, are all to help you increase your retention. If you're yes. fine with keeping a client for three months, then getting rid of them and getting a new one in, don't listen to any of this because you won't need it. Hi guys, and welcome to Tom and Harry SMMA. Now in this next video, we're actually gonna talk about the five dark truths that hide within the SMMA industry. All of these dark truths are things that have slowly become more accepted over time, isn't it? By Completely. bad practice, yeah. people that don't know what they're doing, people, it's almost like Chinese whispers of the SMMA space where someone does something, they listen to them, but do it a bit shitter. They listen to yeah. them, do it a bit shitter. And by the end of it, it's, it's all shit. You, you've got well, you've got an agency doing nothing like the person that actually knows what they're doing. Yeah. So it's like that's how all these bad practices come about, and we're kind of we kind of want to expose a lot of them in this video. I mean, the yeah. first one, the first massive one for us is is not is is poor service delivery, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. Like, that's the first one. It's like we talk all the time about you know you can't have an agency, you can't have a business without getting clients, but you can't really have a business primarily until you've got a product to offer and if that product's yeah. not the best it can be then yeah. you're, you're going to be wasting your time it's like apple releasing an iphone they know shit or yeah or i don't know i'm trying to think of a company now um <laughs> <laughs> I think of a think of a random company. It's like it's like Nike providing late like trainers with no laces in type yeah. thing. It's just, it's, it's, it would do a job. But it's just keep your feet okay, but look shit. You know? Exactly. Eventually, you're going to get caught out. Yeah, you might get a few sales, a few people sign up, but over time, you are going to get caught out, and it's going to yeah. all come crumbling down. And not having a clear strategy that you know is going to yeah. get results. Like a lot yeah. of people that like they'll go into starting to work with a client and have no actual idea how the fuck they're going to make them any more money or bring them yeah. any more leads through. I think the service bit is huge. You know, we some of the clients that we've spoken that we've taken off agencies have said that they've been let down so badly by this agency that then they go out of the agency. And the agency are like, no, we need to charge you for the next five months. And that yeah. leaves such a bad taste because they go, well, you know, you weren't giving me the service I needed. And then they're charging for the rest of the contract. Now, me and you don't deliver a bad service, but imagine if we if we were mortified enough where someone said that we'd be like, look, we'll work with you for an extra month for free. Like, well, that's that's we that's we've, how we've bad had, we would feel about it. Yeah, we've had that exact scenario happen to us. And the difference between these two agencies. So there's agency one where a client that we now work with ended a relationship with that company because they signed they signed the client, our client, for a 12 month period, promised loads of results, promised like eight leads a day, 70% close rate on yeah. this new Google ad strategy that they had. Yeah. That client signed a 12 month contract. That client then brought them in a big fat zero leads. Not yeah. a single lead through made him no money. And after the three months, that client actually gave them three months, which is beyond me. After the three months, he said, I'm, I'm physically not going to pay you anymore because you just you just basically scammed me because you don't have a strategy and you're not making any money. Yeah. And when he wanted to end the contract, they basically said no. And they were going to take it to the ends of the earth to get that and whole 12 month period and, and sued that client. And, sued him, and, yeah. and the way they dealt with that client was so, in such a negative and bad way yeah. that he could have easily made a post. And I'm sure he will do once everything's resolved of how bad that agency is. And it's a very big agency. This isn't well, like a, yeah. a, and an SMA. This is a big corporate agency. And he's a big client and he's well-connected, you know, very well connected. And thousands of LinkedIn followers who, who take his every word on stuff. It's just not worth the damage. It's like damage limitations at this point. But and that's, I think and that's, gonna, I think that's, that's gonna, the key gonna, thing. Yeah. And that's going to affect that business massively when that oh, comes out. Hugely. But that's all down to, but that's a bad, that's bad service. Even if someone doesn't want to work with you anymore, you should be gracious and really go out of your way to ensure that one day they might come back. Well, that's exactly it, mate. That's, that was my second point in, in comparing the two. That happened to us. A client of ours that we were working for with for a year, something in their in their life happened where they had Change. to part ways. They had to part ways with us. Yeah, um, we lose, nothing. We we, we, we're open with that. You know, we yeah, no not, one can keep us forever. We're open exactly. With that. Not that not that we were doing a bad result for that particular client. We have in the past not been able to get results for clients, and we've parted yeah. ways with them. But for this individual client, they ended a contract three or four months early. We did not go about it the same way that business did by saying, you've got to pay us those four extra months. You, no. We're going to take you to court. We're going to sue you. You've got to pay us. Ah, no. We just said, 
absolutely fine. We understand times yeah. changed. Can you just give us a month in advance? Like, like we said, so just pay one more month. Um, and they were like, Tom and Harry, absolutely. You've been amazing to it, to us. And then the last month they came back on board with us. If we did. didn't ask, if we didn't, if we didn't deal with them gracefully and respectfully and like just being human to human with them, they wouldn't yeah. come back to us. So we're going to make, we're going to make tenfold what we are keeping them as a client moving forward than yeah. we would have off chasing four months off them. It's the same way as like having in, in employees in your business. If you treat them like shit, they're never going to come back and work for you. If you develop them and they end up wanting to leave and then one day come back to you, you should, and if they were any good, you should welcome them. It's the same sort of thing, but poor service and, and the way you treat people is, is number one. It's not good enough in the industry at the minute. So I'll say that's number one. Number Wait, two. Just, just before you go on to yeah, number two, on. mate. That, that being said, if a client is being a pain and like wants to get out of a wants to get out of like the four month agreement that we have for no valid reason, that's a different story though, isn't it? Yeah. Like right. if we're if we're like mid through a campaign and it's they've not given it the chance to get up, that's completely different. We're talking about long term clients here yeah. that have that have, have genuine reasons. But even then, mate, if we you know we've signed yeah, a client exactly last week on a four month and yesterday on a four month contract. If halfway through they were like Tom and Harry, like I can't be doing with this, and I need to tell change things and things happen, we'd just be like, "Listen, just fine, sort yourself out." Yeah, yeah, we we wouldn't. And a, and a contract, a contract is a contract, and by law we could take it and say, "Well, actually, you owe us four months worth of salary here, um, of service fee," but it ain't worth it. Ain't worth the. And we also don't need the money that bad. Like I know mm-hmm. that sounds arrogant, but we, we our agency it's, flies. We don't need that extra cash. It's, it's just it's, it's the principle, isn't it? It is. And it's it's like mass, I massively believe in karma in the sense that yeah. those clients that always appreciate us letting them come out of a contract earlier, they're always the ones that refer us to three of their friend business owners. They are. It's it's like you, you can't think of it as like, right, I need the money now. Just grow your brand in the best way. Yeah. Things will come round. They'll come round again and, and go from there. One of the dark truths is that people are not going above and beyond on service. Okay, yeah. so as an example, they're just running meta ads. That's all they're doing, and they're not really getting the results, or they maybe they are. But if the client comes to you here and says, "Oh, look, we've got a special event going on within our business. Can you do a flyer for me?" Okay, to promote the event, what would your response be to that? I'd just say absolutely. It would take me seconds. Yeah. So what Harry's demonstrating there is he's willing to. Yes, it will take him seconds. It probably won't take seconds. It'll probably take him twenty minutes, depending on what it is. But that's a nice touch because. Yeah, it's not social media marketing. Yeah, it's not running an ad. However, if they wanted an ad changed, you'd have to put that time in, okay? So if they want a flyer done or they want a tweak made on their website, if you know how to do these things, me and Harry know how to do website design, so it's slightly different. But little things to you, to, for them to do are big things for the client. And actually, when you put give more of a service, even little, little bits and bobs, you become more valuable to the client. You're now someone who they can go to and say, oh, look, I'm in a bit, I'm stuck. I just need, I need this designed or I've got a problem with my website. Like, can you help change the font on the home screen if I give you the logins? Give it a go. Even if you can't do it, give it a go because it shows you're going above and beyond, doesn't it, man? Like, yeah. like every, really, everything we... I, I, I think that's a huge one that people miss. They don't want to touch anything that's not meta related. Is it an ad? Is it running an ad? Is it doing another asset? No, I don't want to know. It's not in the agreement. Well, you're going to lose that client because it doesn't show that you've you've got their best interest in heart. Yes, you don't want to be racing around doing brochures and website design. That's not what we're saying. It's no, like little it's tasks. Every, everything, everything that we do and everything we say, especially videos like this, are all to help you increase your retention. If you're yes. fine with keeping a client for three months, then getting rid of them and getting a new one in, don't listen to any of this because you won't need it. But if you want to save yourself the hassle of having to do more outreach and keep clients long term, like we've got multiple, multiple clients that are on our agency books. They've been there for two plus years. And we and a lot of other clients that are on their way to being being that type of retention to client. So all of these things are the exact things you need to be doing to keep them for that long. And it will make your life a hell of. Yeah, well, we got a client on a 12 month contract. Exactly. Signed Signed it last month. Exactly. All of these things that we we're going through are to help you keep these clients long term. And the reason why you need to be doing things like brochures or if they ask you for, like Tom said, something to change on the homepage, if you don't do that for them, they're going to find someone else to do it for them. So if you're then teeing them up 
So you're not mm. willing to do 20 minutes of work on a flyer for them. It's the same as doing a new ad creative, but on a, a larger scale with more copy and text. Yeah. If you say no to them, they're going to then find a new branding or marketing agency. Oh, this is, in, that, this is interesting. <laughs> that, spe yeah. that specialize in flyers. Do you really want one of your clients to be opening a conversation with another branding agency for a flyer? Because I can guarantee you, the own, they're not just going to talk about flyers in that meeting. Yeah, if they've got anything them. about them, they're going to upsell them on social media marketing. They're going to poke holes in everything you're doing. If they're anything like Tom and I, they'll say something like, wow, they can't do a flyer for you. They're going to charge you extra. We'd never do that. Yeah. It's fucking exactly what <laughs> we, we would, would say. Yeah, we would. I'd have okay, that so, absolutely snapped up, wouldn't oh, I? It'd be game over. So like, if and don't charge them extra. 20 minutes extra of your work to do a flyer if you've got access to the yeah. website to add a new special to their website or change something on their website, just do it. Like in a yeah. time where people are losing their jobs every single day in the real world because of the recession, where money is scarce, money's increasing in price because of inflation, you're not willing to go an extra mile for your clients that are paying you a thousand pound a month on a retainer just yeah. to do a fly for them. And that stops them going to other marketing agencies and asking for help. You should be the 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 the, the lifesaver or the kind uh, of the hub, of, aid, really. the hub yeah. of everything, design, marketing. Yeah, yeah. So if you're just like, sorry, we can't do that. We're only Facebook ads. Well, they're just going to be like, well, we'll find yeah. someone else who can do it. Especially, if you're, charging, yeah, especially and then, if you're charging that amount of money. They can exactly. find someone that does everything. And, and you know, well, flyers is just an example. But even if you did want to fly, say they got a special event at their spa, okay, or their dentist, I don't know, whatever. Um, you just go on Canva and you look at the templates that they fucking give you. There's, there's the best part of 20,000 templates. If you can't pick one out of that, then I would quit, to be honest. And this, mate, this is prime example of why we always say, well, people will be saying, well, I can't do that. I don't, I don't have the skills to do that. But I've, I do all my work on a contractor basis. Well, that's why we say don't fucking do a contractor basis. If you're getting a client finding Facebook ad McGee over there to do all your delivery, and then yeah. your client asks you for something as simple as a flyer, and your immediate response is, oh, I've got to charge you that because I've got to get flyer McGee to, to pay him an yeah. extra hundred pounds. Otherwise, yeah. I'm going to lose too much money. Or you could just learn the skills yourself and yeah, do it. Yeah. Yeah. It just make that's and, that, and that's why... I've said thousands of times and people always complain about it and go, eh, I've got an agency that outsource all the work. That's yeah. why they don't have high retention rates because they can't give the best possible service to your clients. No. And they want to do, they want to get paid the money they get paid and do the least possible hours, which yeah, and, is and, unsustainable. And that was fine two years ago, but, and it probably, you can, there's people that are getting away with it now, but in over the next two years with the way the advertising platforms are changing, the way strategies are changing to actually get these businesses results they're gonna come unstuck and i'm gonna refer back to this video in two years time when all of those yeah. agencies are out of business and all of our academy members and, and people that listen to us are thriving and say i yeah. told you so and all you people that were lazy and didn't want to learn the, the, the services yourself and build that culture and brand of your own agency it's your fault yeah completely agree okay let's move on to number three we're with, we're with through the next three. Yeah. Poor quality of work, which we kind of touched on, but the actual quality of the work, spelling mistakes, you know, dark truth. Now, talking about dark truths, some of the fucking ads you see online are appalling. Uh, we've said this so many times. It's like, it's like my eight year old son has done them. It's embarrassing. I, I feel embarrassed for them. I'm thinking, oh, that poor client. Do you know what I actually think? I, I actually look at some ads and I think, oh, the client must be doing that themselves. Like they must be tinkering with like, the boosting shit that people shouldn't be doing or that they're having a little dabble on bm but actually more often than not like it's actually an agency that's running it and you think what the hell we 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 have a friend who he's a friend now he was a client but he's gone um down a slightly different route with his business and there's other business partners involved so he was working with us and now we've we quite happily um parted ways um he now is using a different type of in, in, um, agency that kind of specialises in what he does a bit more than what we do. That's absolutely fine. I've seen the, I've still got access to what is happening on their BM, and I look at the ads, and I think, oh my god, this is our ads were spectacular in the way they were they were put out and they converted. And I think he's this is now the quality of work, and the, the it's it is like a child's done it. 
and I feel for him because I think it's he he didn't want to use them, but he's had to use them. Yeah, and it's embarrassing. And the quality of work is just so appalling. The headline doesn't match what's in the copy. The copy doesn't match what's in the creative. They're using the creative as just one image. Um, there's nothing to. There's no pixel on his website. It is horrendous. But quality of work is a big one. Mate, it's massive. It's huge. It's the one of the biggest things that differentiates you from other other businesses. It's like we send, we that, and that goes down ads, to the product. We? Well, we send each other ads all the time on Instagram because me and Harry speak on every platform every day. So we DM each other on Instagram. We WhatsApp each other a million times and we message each other. So, but we will we will look at ads and this is what you should do. You know, and this is part of your education of those who are watching. You should be looking and studying ads that you're exposed to. You should be clicking on them, seeing where that takes them. What lead capture are they doing they're doing informal they're doing funnel you should be doing that anyway but me and harry look at these ads and we go look at this send it to each other and we just ridicule it and think Mate. can you imagine if our agency put that together i would i would just be mortified and that's how your agency is going to be shown to other people like if you if and that's down yeah. to your product like we said at the very start of this you can't have a business based on a bad product yes you're selling your product isn't Facebook ads. Like everyone isn't selling the same product in the sense that yeah. our agency, although we offer Facebook ads to our clients, our Facebook ads are very different to the next person's Facebook ads yeah. because of because of the quality of them. It's not just, you, just because you offer Facebook ads doesn't mean you're offering the same product as us and you can offer the same price. There's It's it's on a scale. There's good Facebook yeah. ads and then what they're doing a bad Facebook ads. So you are putting yourself at the cheaper end, which allows you if your if your if your quality of those ads aren't good, then you can't be charging the same price as us that that run good ads. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and and I always like to think that people can spot our ads over other people's ads like straight away if they are side by side. But also saying that you know this is this is the five dark truths, and what we're saying is number three is the poor the poor quality of work. Um, however, there are things you know I see some ads on Instagram, and I'm like, fuck, that's good. That yeah. is good. Like I sent one to you the other day. I was like, that is good. That gives me something, like, gives me ideas. It sparks my creative thinking because you can't have all the answers all the time. But there are some really good ads, especially on the e-com side. Still doesn't, doesn't make me want to buy it. But, yeah, there's some good ones. Number four, which is a video which we're going to do in itself, which is five dark truths about SMA, is the fakers um, and lazy people. So the lazy, they're not doing what they say on the tin. But we're, we're actually not going to go into that in detail. Harry, because we're going to talk about that in another yeah. video. Yeah. So that's fine. And then the fifth one is the industry is full of people who have dabbled in agent in trying to start an SMA and actually the forefront of their thinking. You know, when you watch a cartoon um, when you're a kid and people see dollar bill signs rolling in their eyes, that is a very, very strong underlining current within SMA is their first thought is, can I get a retainer on two grand a month? how rich I'm going to be. Wow. And once they get it, then the service, the quality, the poor ads, all that comes into play because they've already been paid. Yep. And it's a money grabbing industry where people think winning a two grand retainer is a lot. It's not. Okay. Cause we've got more than that. Two grand retainer is a load of money and they think, wow, yes, I got it. And then they might win another one at three, uh, at a grand was three grand a month now. And they go, Oh, great. And that's that fully focused on the financial gain rather than the longevity of their customer care. Yeah. And that's mate, and that's one of the biggest reasons why we have an academy. People always ask, well, why do you have an academy? It's not to make money at all. It's because we want to put our time and our effort into people that take their journey seriously. We want to help their career seriously. We, we don't we actually don't want to help those people that are starting a social media marketing agency to only to try and make 10 grand, give up and scam loads of people out of money because we yeah. hate that. We hate yeah. working with people, not not um, agency owners. We hate starting to work with um, new potential clients of ours. And we hate seeing that they've been stung by other agencies. And we don't want to facilitate that type of practice because it ruins the industry. It ru That really does put a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths and have a bad, a, a bad kind of connotation with marketing their business online, which we don't want. So nope. you're spot on in the sense that- yep, absolutely got, and, and that's what a majority of people are, people are like. They, they, they start it to earn money, not to grow a successful business and actually help people. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with being ambitious and wanting to earn a good salary. That, you know, me and you, you, Harry, we are the most ambitious people 
going. We want we want to earn phenomenal, and we do for for salary wise. It blows my mind, but that's not why we do it. Like I love how we work with our clients. I love the I you know we've got a business that family can come into at some point. My kids are only young, so I want them to be have something that they go fucking hell. My dad's my dad and Harry have built this empire, and that's the way our minds are programmed. However, that being said, you know, it's also nothing being wrong. If you have the fear in you about needing money for, you know, our course is great for a side hustle. We, we don't talk about the course a huge amount, but a side hustle to pay your energy bills, to pay the, the the rising fuel costs and the rising cost in food, the cost of living in general. Our course is fantastic for that. You should be motivated by money. But the, my fifth point is actually don't let it uh, become the forefront and, a, yeah. and an obsession of I want money, 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 so I can have the Instagram lifestyle. It's not. It's about making money by giving a wonderful, phenomenal service where your clients then make money too. So yeah. you're both making money at the same time. If, if you if you if you have a relationship with a client that's solely based on money and that you you're trying to get the most money out of them, obviously, yeah, that's that is the essence of business and trying to maximize the amount of money you get from each customer. But doing it in the correct way in retention rather than trying to get it as quickly out of their pocket as possible, sending loads of money on service that you have to have their best interest at heart. Yeah. Agreed. I think that wraps it up. I think that wraps up nicely, mate. Cool. That was five dark truths. Harry, what's the uh, next video? What's the last video? Do all that shit. That you did <laughs> yeah. Again. yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video guys. The previous video was on why 99% of SMAs fail and how you can be in the top 1% of agencies, what you need to do, what not to do yeah. and, and how to stay there. So Good make sure you watch that, that video guys subscribe, like, comment on a, on a video that you want us to produce in the future, and we'll see you tomorrow at 9am.